Glasgow once built a quarter of the world's ships, in the days when Britannia ruled the waves. Today, new empires are being built in outer space, and Glasgow is once again at the forefront of this rising sector. The city builds more satellites than anywhere outside of the United States, but they're a bit smaller than an ocean liner. Think of a, a, a good bottle of whiskey, and you will know the size of our satellite. Glasgow specialises in CubeSats, small orbital devices used for applications like global positioning and weather forecasting. Spire Global and neighbouring satellite maker Clyde Space manufacture around one satellite a week in Glasgow, inspiring others to try to emulate their success. This is the, the Unicorn One, so this is our first satellite that um, we've produced and it will be launched next year on the Unisat 7, which is launching on uh, Soyuz. It costs more than gold per kilogram to launch a satellite, so the idea of making a smaller cube uh, made a lot of sense, and for the first time you could actually do useful things in these little cubes. The technology was uh, getting small enough through like mobile phone developments to say, well, hey, we can actually apply a lot of those breakthroughs into this little form factor and do some useful things. Space is big business in Scotland, generating over £1 billion for the local economy and supporting around 20,000 jobs. We've spent about £20 million um, building this facility here in, in uh, Glasgow and hiring local talent. Um, this is our single largest office. Uh, we do all of our satellite manufacturing here. There's a really great pool of talent um, for particularly electronics manufacturing that we were able to tap into. The UK Space Agency wants to triple the size of the industry by 2030, so Scotland's satellite makers are still a long way away from their final frontier.